Hey guys, it's me, Undertamer. Today I'm going to show you how to use the room editor for Binding of Isaac After Earth Plus. First, what you want to do is launch. It'll display this message. This is very simple how to fix. And this will crash whatever you do. Doesn't matter what you do, it'll crash. This is very simple to fix. First of all, what you want to do is go to the tools, double click resource extractor and launch resource extractor. Press enter to continue as it says. Now I have already done this, but after it's finished, you will find these folders. Double click resources. This is Japanese and Korean. So they're not in English if you speak English. Double click this one. Then entities 2 will be right here. What you want to do is set the path for that. Let's go to room editor. Open settings. It'll say resources, path, and it'll be set to binding of Isaac rebirth. You're, what you're going to type is resources slash pack pack slash after birth unpack slash resources so launch room editor will this message will display you don't need this for now launch it and this is a room that i made while i was fooling around i'm gonna delete it just to show you how to make a room so here we have selecting uh, the, the floor you want it to be on. Let's say we want it to be in the basement. Let's create a new one. Here's your room. Now, this, uh, this little box right here shows the ID of your room, whether it's gonna be a default, shop, treasure, boss, mini boss, secret, super secret, arcade, curse room, challenge, library, Devil Room, Angel Room, Dungeon, Boss Rush, Isaac Room, Baron Chest Dice, Black Market Greed Exit, or even an Error Room if you want. And if you click Null, it'll be simply nothing. Here you can set the difficulty of your room. This is setting the size of your room. H meaning horizontal, V meaning vertical. L, T, L means left, turn, uh, uh, large, turn left. Large, turn right, large, big left, large, big right. This is this is probably the most important one. How Where you name your room so you recognize them. Let's name it test. Okay. So now, moving on to designing Here your room. Here it is, the perfect room. With a pickup, some, some more pickups, a chest, and coll a collectible, a trinket, an enemy, and even a hazardous object. Take note that these, that this section right here, the white section, is mostly items that uh, is props and stuff like that. You, ha you even have an escape route and statues. Here in this red zone, you have enemies and bosses. Uh, note that and that the enemies and bosses are in the same. Are mixed up they're not sorted by order I haven't not figured out how to do this yet and at the very beginning you have the helpful items that mainly help you out in your journey and at the very beginning we have decorations which don't really serve a purpose just a bit of decorations now to launch your perfect level go to tools and insta preview this, however, will require some setup. You have to go to settings. There you'll find uh, Insta Preview. After, after you launch Insta Preview, it'll ask you for an executable and a path. The executable is basically your game, which will, you will have to set up the path for. Take note that the first time you do this, you do not have to go to settings. It'll ask you there, so you just browse. And then it'll ask you for a path. The path is very simple. It is just until the binding of Isaac. There, there it is. So, C, program files, uh, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, the binding of Isaac, rebirth. That will be it for 
the setup. Now just click Insta Preview. Now, once you've clicked Insta Preview, minimize this window and go back and go to your Steam page. It'll ask you if you want to load the Insta Preview. Click OK. Now wait. And you'll see it'll launch a Binding of Isaac After Earth Plus. Here it is, your room. Everything Take is here. note that after you leave your room, it will be gone forever. So make sure to collect your uh, collect the loot from your room before you leave to explore the rest of the dungeon. You can fix this uh, by creating a mod with more than just one room. I will show how I will show you how to do that in the next video. Until then, this has been Tutorials with Entertainer. Bye!